Welcome to the R video tutorial on basic summaries in R. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University. This video tutorial will show you how to get basic summaries out of your data, not very complicated statistical analyses. Please watch other videos for those. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start off by reading in a data frame. I'm gonna use a data frame that I've been using in the previous tutorials uh, because it's easy and we're all familiar with it, hopefully. So let's read this one in, it's the cycler data, and then we'll verify that it read in correctly. I'm using the head statement here. Notice that it has subject, age, gender, treatment, uh, CPK one, two, three, and four. And some basic summaries that I can get out of this uh, are the dimensions. And there's several ways to do this. So dimensions meaning how big is this data? So one way to do this is try the dim command. And this works on data frames, uh, but not on matrices or on vectors. Those have their own that work on, uh, on those. So here you can see that I typed in dim for dimension, cycler one, and it says that it has 40 rows and eight columns. So you might wanna actually put that down as a note, note on what it's gonna spit out. Uh, produces if I can type here, rows and columns. Another way to get at the same information, if I don't want both of them, I can do n row, and I can put in cycler one, and this will produce the number 40. That's the number of rows that are in there. So this gives me number of rows. And I'm gonna put this comment up on the back of that one, just so we can separate things out here a little bit. Sometimes making your code readable is really important. So I can also get the number of columns. So n call is what we're gonna use, cycler one. And if I run this, it will return eight, which is what I have, eight columns. Now there's another function that you would use uh, for some su other summaries other than just the size of the data set. And the function is summary, and summary is a generic function in that it'll find summaries on all types of different things. So you have to be clear on what you wanna find your summary on and know what kind of summary it's gonna give back. So if I just put in the entire data frame, we'll see what comes out of this. So if I run this, it gives me lots of information. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resize my console window so I can see what all is here because it's, it's given me a summary for each and every one. So notice it thinks that a lot of these are numeric, even though subject is just a subject number. It says my minimum is one, my maximum is 40, one for each of the subjects. My ages go from a minimum of 18 to a maximum of 40. The third quartile is 35, the mean is 29.2, the median is 30.5. Now for gender, notice it spits out something a little bit different for gender. It's actually giving you the count of how many females there were. So F colon 20 means that there were 20 females. M colon 20 means there were 20 males. Here I have treatment and that's a category as well. So it's just reporting back the frequency at which it saw each one of these categories. So there were 10 people who had the high treatment, 10 who had the low, 10 who had the medium and 10 who had none. We also get summaries for each of the CPK measurements. So you can see you get the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the median, or the mean, the third quartile, and the maximum for each one of these variables. And, and that's really useful to have all at once because you can see generally if your data seems really out of whack. How? Well, me, if I'm really interested if my data seems out of whack, I look at both the minimums and the maximums. Uh, if I see things that are just really bizarre, like maximum values that are way above what anything could be, I know that there's a problem in my data somewhere and that makes it pretty easy to deal with. Uh, notice that this does not produce a standard deviation and we will show you how to get those later. Right now, this video is just about getting basic summaries and the basic summaries of your data set are the min, first quartile, median, mean, third quartile, and max, as well as frequencies of any categorical variables and also the size of your data set. That's often something that you would want to be able to grab hold of quickly. And we're gonna use this information over and over again. 
All right, so this has been the, our video tutorial on summaries. Now you can move on to the next video.